So on Friday, uh, the officer that shot Philandro Castle, um, Philandro, Philando Castle was acquitted. Um, and I'm bewildered by this. Uh, I'm sure many of you watched the video. It was on Facebook Live. I didn't watch it live, but the couple's pulled over for a busted taillight. The he's complying with the officer. He's not being he's not being rude. He's not he's like. I have a concealed carry, just so you know. And the officer's like, show me your license. And he reaches in and then the cop shoots him four times. And then you see the girlfriend who's, I'm amazed at how calm she is, but probably because she doesn't want to get shot too, is like, and the officer's freaking out. Why did he reach into his wallet? And she said, because you asked him to. How was that guy acquitted? And uh, Castle's uncle, Tracy Castle, said um, that, they are uh, asking for Trump to bring on federal charges against uh, Geronimo Yanez, the officer that shot him. And um, they'd like to see it go to federal court. And it's just, it's, it's unbelievable to me that this keeps happening. Like once a month, an officer who shoots an unarmed black man is acquitted. So this month it was a Latino guy. Last month it was a white woman. Hey, there's equality. <laughs> it's unbelievable to me, man. And now that you have this idiot Trump and fuckhead Jeff Sessions, I, I, I don't. I, what, how, how how does this keep happening? You know. And it's, it's a suburb of St. Paul, which is part of the Twin Cities in Minnesota. And they said in March that they had outlined goals and objectives from the Federal Review, including its relationship with black people who accounted for roughly 38% of arrests since 2011, despite only making up 7% of the residents in the immediate area. And now I've seen, you know, right-wingers go, oh, well, you know, black people are committing more crimes. So, okay. <laughs> um, Well, what, what do you expect? They've even done studies. Well, I, I don't even know where to go, but, but like, what do you expect when decades of lack of jobs, lack of education in the inner cities, right? And then on top of that, militarization of the police and basic just racist policies. They've hired more black police officers and they've, they've done studies black police officers react differently to black people they're interacting with in the community. What, what is going on? Like, it, it, obviously this is just decades of, of society saying, oh, black men are guilty. Just putting it out in every form possible in the media, in the TV and wherever else. And it's, it, 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 it like, it's unbelievable to me to watch this video. And when the video happened, it was like, oh, this guy will be guilty. Cause that's the thing. Like all these cops were doing this for years and they were getting off because there was no video it was, is the cops word against the person they shots were. so you could say, oh yeah, he reached for his gun. I had no choice with well, this video to say otherwise. It's crazy. And then how they treat the woman, get out of the car. Like you just killed her boyfriend. And she's like, where's my daughter? And they're like, get on your knees. And it's just like, I, I, you know, I would, I would love to see some of these cops get treated this way. How many cops have just had somebody go, get down, think about it. If a person has a badge and a gun, they can just, like a cop could burst in the door right now and I would have to get down. I couldn't, ar if I argued, I'd resisted, they could do whatever. Shoot me, stun gun me. They could just kick that door down at any moment right now and tell me to get down. And if you're a cop and cops say, get down, you show me your badge. Oh, and then, and then you're cool. I'm a cop. All right. Then they let you go. So I'd like to see some cops get treated this way. Um, cause I don't really see, I don't know what kind of change is going to happen because 
April, Attorney General Jeff Sessions ordered the Justice Department to review all reform agreements that had been made with troubled police forces. And the Department of Justice announced last month that it would not bring federal charges against the officers who fatally shot Alton Sterling in Louisiana the day before uh, Castle was killed. So, and having Trump in the White House is awful, but a lot of these, these men were gunned down when Obama was still president. I mean, this type of militarization of the police force has been happening. Bill Clinton voted the three strikes law, put hundreds of thousands of black men in jail. I said this before, I'll say it again. Watch the documentary, um, I Am Not Your Negro, the James Baldwin documentary. It's spot on and not much has changed. There's a little bit of change, yeah. But um, this is the kind of thing that I would suggest writing your representatives and encourage them to pressure the president to open federal charges because this is unbelievable. There's just video after video after video. And the people keep getting acquitted. I just, I just don't understand how an, un, how an unarmed person getting killed, it, like that's, that's a crime. If I go shoot an unarmed person, right, that's a crime. <laughs> if I just pull out a gun and, oh, and I boom, boom, and I kill somebody, that's not a crime, correct? So um, yeah. And, you know, we need real reform. So I would suggest emailing or calling your various representatives to put pressure on the federal government to uh, bring federal charges against this officer. I would get involved in your local police departments in terms of community policing, vote for, you know, when you're chief of police or sheriff or whoever is up up for re-election, find out who they are and what kind of, of, you know, police officer they are. Because this isn't, it's obviously not working. There's obviously a complete breakdown in this system when this keeps happening. An unarmed person getting shot and then the cop is acquitted. Like time and time again. Are they, do they want like full scale riots and civil wars? Is that, are they really, honestly, is this some deep state shit? Like, well, let's just push everyone as much into a corner as we can. It's insane. So, um, real change starts at the local level and we've got to find some new, um, some new policing, some new, some new ways to do this because this is just unbelievable to me. The cops are just trained. Anybody reaches into their pocket, unload on them, especially if it's a black man. I mean, is that what is going on? Like what the hell is being trained that this happens in city after city after city after city after city? It's just unreal. There's something fundamentally wrong. So let's find some real reform and another reason to get behind real progressives that are gonna do real reform because this, is, this, isn't, this isn't right. Imagine if that was somebody that you knew that got shot like that. Imagine. So thanks for watching the show.